Welcome back to the Caspa Silver YouTube channel. A win for Bitcoin is a win for Caspa. So in today's video, I wanted to talk about the recent breaking news of Grayscale winning the SEC lawsuit for a Bitcoin ETF review. So here are the major points of what's going on here. So the appeals court said the SEC's decision to reject the Grayscale Bitcoin ETF application was arbitrary and capricious in its ruling further down below here says previously judge Rao said that the sec did not offer any explanation as to why grayscale was in the wrong and if you have not been keeping up with this news previously the sec has approved future etfs bitcoin etfs and now i think an ethereum futures etf many times before and it makes no sense that they will not approve a spot Bitcoin ETF or eventually probably a spot Ethereum ETF. How are you going to approve futures ETFs, but not the spot ETFs, which in my opinion is a lot more safe than futures. Um, but either way, if we keep going down here, it says Grayscale Bitcoin Trust is the largest Bitcoin fund traded over the counter with over 15 billion in assets under management. And this was pretty much known to probably be the case that they're going to win because we did know that BlackRock, Fidelity, and a ton of institutions are filing for ETFs for Bitcoin. And if BlackRock is going to file for an ETF for something, they have only lost like one time when it comes to their filings with the SEC. So I feel like they wouldn't have done this unless they knew that this would eventually get approved. And then especially all the institutions after following it with it, I think it's like it's over 10 institutions that are all trying to get a Bitcoin ETF, which would mean that these institutions have to buy Bitcoin on the spot market and hold it themselves. Now, I would re never recommend holding these ETFs over holding the actual asset itself, Bitcoin, because this is basically just a way for institutions to hold all of the Bitcoin and just have the retail people holding their funds, which is not the whole purpose of Bitcoin. It wasn't so that all institutions can hold the whole supply and we retail get in through these funds because then it's basically going right back into the same system. So always I'm going to be preaching self-custody, owning your crypto physically in your own personal wallets. But earlier this year, shares of GBTC traded at a discount of nearly 50% to the net asset value due to the firm's then ongoing litigation with the SEC and credit concerns regarding its parent digital currency group, DCG. And that was another thing with Grayscale Bitcoin Trust. You see, these institutions, they have to hold their crypto with certain companies and there's a chance that these companies could collapse or they're not using the funds correctly and this was what was happening with gbtc that they were holding bitcoin with other companies uh regarding its parent company right here digital currency group that and there was a chance that they can go bankrupt and all this kind of stuff there was just a lot of drama in that so even it caused the gbtc trust to fall below bitcoin's price level and you could see that year to date ever since they won the lawsuit gbtc is up 142 percent so if you were holding the grayscale bitcoin trust you were actually up a whole lot more than holding bitcoin itself which is only up 63 percent currently as i am recording here so that is very interesting to see and it's just something to note that these etfs will not track bitcoin itself in terms of percentage gains and stuff like that it could be very very different and especially because of that situation that was happening that people thought that this was going to collapse it was trading at a premium it was trading way below uh, what bitcoin was really valued at so it is very interesting to see now that anyone who stuck through it is actually up way more than holding bitcoin itself but again i would always encourage people to hold the actual asset because at the end of the day i believe bitcoin will still eventually outperform these etfs that are going to be created i do want to clarify that this ruling does not mean that 
the ETF is going to be approved. This only means that Grayscale will have to join the line of all the institutions waiting to get an approval by the SEC for a Bitcoin spot ETF. But we don't know exactly when this will happen yet. But how does CASPA come into this? Well, simply put, any regulation clarity for Bitcoin is more clarity for CASPA. That's just simply being because CASPA is built like Bitcoin and is actually able to be in the same conversation with Bitcoin. And I'm talking about the fact that CASPA is fair launched. It's following the same principles. It's actually trying to be stateless money. It's not just trying to be another cryptocurrency that has a company behind it, that they hold all of the tokens and all this kind of stuff, something similar to like Ethereum or XRP. You see, Ethereum and XRP, these aren't really trying to be stateless money. They have organizations that are heavily backed into them, baked into them, and they're controlling these currencies pretty much. But Casper is actually trying to be stateless money. And in the past, we've already seen that the SEC uh, Gensler, which a lot of people don't like, I really don't care. I don't have an opinion whether I like or dislike, I just try to stick with what the regulation is right now and try to follow the law the best I can so that I can ensure my money is being put into places that I believe is the safest other than just blindly putting it everywhere and thinking that any cryptocurrency you put money in is going to go up. With these regulations, it just prevents a lot of cryptocurrencies ever being on my radar just simply because you have a government that can easily uh, attack your cryptocurrency because there's a company behind it, all that kind of stuff. And I'm in crypto for the currency part, for stateless money, for actual currencies that don't have a central entity that is really behind them and calling every single thing that goes on with the currency. But we have seen that he has called for Bitcoin being the only commodity in the space. But we have also seen in other clips or whatnot people saying that clearly litecoin would be considered a commodity and other proof of work chains they even said ethereum could be considered a commodity now this was before it had transitioned to proof of stake which now makes it a lot more centralized so that's the issue with ethereum but either way more regulation for bitcoin gives better clarity for proof of work coins that are following the same principles and philosophies that crypto came into the space and that is not having a central entity controlling these currencies you see bitcoin is trying to be the digital gold in the space and it failed to be a medium of exchange or a peer-to-peer -peer cash system but caspa is being built to simply be a peer-to-peer -peer cash system or a digital silver in the space that is meant for payments and meant for a medium of exchange, but can also be considered a store of value as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick video and please leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and as always, don't be average, be different.